I am at the High Museum of Art today looking at some European masters paintings and I'm really excited to share it with you because there's some really incredible work here that I've never seen in person um, and, and starting first with the Claude Monet behind me which I find really particularly fascinating because this is obviously to me a depiction of the golden hour. Sunset down a long road, city glowing in the background. It's incredibly beautiful. You can see this really long shadows cast by the, the trees in, in across the road as the sun is setting. The colors are just intense. When I first walked up on this painting, um, it was so true to that brightness of light um, at sunset that I almost felt like I needed to squint at it to really get the full appreciation of it to see what I was looking at. And I had started by, you know, looking up close at it and then going further away from it. Really beautiful piece. Um, next up is Gustave Courbet. Never seen this one before in person, but it's really beautiful. I'm struck by how incredibly um, it's, it's a landscape, obviously, from the, the mid to late 1800s, but it's got a little bit of edginess about it. It's almost abstract in that layout. Um, the green in the sky, the green in the water, really beautiful. And then uh, next up, another one by Courbet, same artist. Um, intense light, rich colors, really beautiful. But the, you see the, the light shining on that, that cliff face there. Um, there's a, a body of water in the shadows there with very subtle reflection very still looking dark waters with beautiful reflections of the trees around it. And um, I had talked about artistic influences. Um, and so now I am really pleased to share with you this Van Gogh behind me. Um, it's, he's, you can see a self-portrait that's him in the foreground there um, at the entrance to some gardens. Um, really intense, beautiful greens, yellows, blues, lovely. I love the way he's, he's standing there, uh, legs apart, looking like he's reading a newspaper. Um, slightly closer look, it looks like he's got a cigar or pipe in his mouth. Really beautiful piece. Lots of texture, swirling, those, the dark signature Van Gogh um, outlines around the trees. Beautiful stuff. Um, there's another Van Gogh that we're going to look at in a moment, but I've got some, some other uh, museum patrons looking at it now, so we'll wait. But i um, so excited, and I'm trying not to to gush too much, but it's so exciting to see these things in person, um, especially the Van Goghs. Here is the second Van Gogh, and I understand that Van Gogh had a real appreciation for uh, Japanese um, printmaking and art, and I kind of see that in this piece. Again, he's got the, the signature uh, Van Gogh, the dark outlines around the tree there. See? Um, really beautiful. The, just the layers of colors. Like from a distance, it looks like it's a primarily yellow painting, but as you look at closer at all of those brush strokes, there's just so many yellows, so much intensity. Um, very beautiful. 
and I'm so excited to share it with you. Van Gogh, ladies and gentlemen. Edgar Degas, very famous for his paintings of dancers and tutus. And as many of you know, tutus are kind of one of one of my things to paint lately. Um, so I thought I'd share this beautiful Degas with you um, in, a, in a dance studio. Beautiful play of light, awesome motion within the, this painting. Um, there's a dance instructor that's, that's kind of demonstrating a, a, a move for a student. Um, the, the tutus are so graceful and beautiful. The, the movement, uh, the light, great painting. I love to go. So behind me is a piece by uh, Raoul Duffy. It is a painting of his studio space. And what strikes me about it is obviously the, the colors and the lines in that. It's very um, angular, very colorful. It's really beautiful. The pinks and the blues. Um, apparently, it, it was kind of a, a thing to paint um, the artist's studio. And um, it was often done by uh, Matisse. Speaking of which, let's take a peek. A painting of his studio. Awesome.